Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Ed McIntosh. 556, welcome back to Montana this morning as we look at the first interstate eye cam to get going. A pretty seen 50 degrees right now, but there are some clouds, a little bit of a northwest wind. Here's a picture that Barry shared with uh, some of the hail from around the Mile City area from the storm a couple of days ago. That's left some devastation through areas of northeastern Montana. We'll talk more about that with the news headlines in a bit. But here's the look this morning from Soda Butte Lodge at Cook City. Snow on the ground. That's the uh, way things turn in Montana during the springtime. Temperatures are in the 30s right now in Butte, Dillon, and Bozeman. Only 37, 45 for you in Livingston, 49 in Cody. But that 50 in Billings, the warmest in Montana, 54 to start the day in Williston, North Dakota, where we could make the 80s once we start crossing the state line. Temperatures uh, is Sheridan right now at 43, 45 for you in Mile City. Showers around, so that higher elevation snow. A few showers will move up towards the Fort Peck region, but a a lot of this under the southwesterly flow as we take it through the day today. Here's where we're starting the day off with some of the cloud cover, some breaks in the clouds through uh, central Montana. So as we go through the day, we'll see this dividing line, warmer temperatures, more sunshine in eastern Montana towards the Dakotas. But the clouds and the showers start to increase, and we could see some pockets of heavier rain. Some thunderstorm activity could roll off the mountains for later in the day. We're not talking about the potential for the damaging winds and hail today, but we certainly could be looking at some heavy downpours and some wind to go along with some of those thunderstorms and then the higher elevation snow. So now let's take it from 6 o'clock today into 6 o'clock tomorrow. We'll wrap more of that snow, more of the rain showers for the lower elevations as that low cranks around through northern Wyoming. So especially southern Montana most impacted by this. And then we take it ahead from uh, Saturday into Sunday as that low cranks around. It will continue to produce a few showers, especially through at least Sunday morning could linger a little bit even into the afternoon if that low doesn't get in a big hurry to get out of here. Temperatures into the 50s in central and western Montana today, 60s, 70s to 80s once we get into the eastern plains. But notice the cloud cover. Here we are as we take it into the evening hours, producing some of those showers in a bit of the higher elevation snow. But drier across northern Montana it just doesn't warm up a lot here. It's the eastern plains that really feel the impacts of the warmer temperatures. Here we are by the time we start taking it into the evening and overnight hours. This is late this evening and then tomorrow we'll look for the temperatures to drop off with those rain showers. So 60s, then 70s to 80s across the eastern plains today. Higher elevation snow showers, rain becomes more widespread during the afternoon and evening here, favoring especially areas from around Roundup, Mile City towards the south. In the extended outlook, we're looking at temperatures dropping off significantly tomorrow with area rain showers. Some of that's going to linger likely into Sunday, the way this system's slowing down, but you've got the warm and dry weather to follow. More after this on Montana This Morning.